this point, I wish to remind everyone in our audience that this list is purely an opinion. You might not necessarily agree with everything on this list. I might not necessarily agree with everything on this list. <laughs> You're right, Kaiser. This should have been higher. Do not test me, Granthony. This fight struck an interesting balance between us because it has a lot of factors going for it and against it. On one hand, we have Perfect Cell, one of the most charismatic and fun villains in the entire series, putting on a spectacular display of his extensive special move list against the star player for the good guys. On the other, we have a fight that has an unsatisfying conclusion, inconsistent visual quality, and serves as little more than a red herring for the real climactic showdown in this arc. Can you tell that I love playing up the antagonist in these? I feel like this fight is significantly more than the sum of its parts. And to address the nearby battle I have a feeling most fans were expecting here, Goku vs. Cell is a prelude to a fantastic moment. My absolute favorite event in the entire franchise, if I'm being honest. But it's not particularly a great fight. Once Gohan comes in, it's basically a cathartic beatdown and a beam struggle. It's fun, but not top 12 fight material. Our struggle begins shortly after our beloved champ, Mr. Satan, is caught off guard and cheated out of an easy victory against the biomechanical bully. Up first from the usual roster of our heroes is Goku, a man who has already admitted he thinks Cell is the stronger warrior. The first bit of this fight has some excellent choreography, as Cell and Goku get up close and personal with some high-speed fisticuffs that leave the onlookers stunned. Some of the animation is <laughs> a little rough from time to time, but when it looks good, it looks damn good. Gohan going Super Saiyan 2 for the first time is my favorite event in the series, but Goku and Cell blinking in and out of visibility as they zoom across the ring is definitely my favorite shot. Shoutouts to Cell's weird finger moves before he powers up as a close second, though. It's an exceedingly cool set piece to be sure, but I think you're forgetting just how rough the art can get in some of these spots. Uh, Goku and Cell are hilariously drawn in a handful of sequences, especially once the evil android starts multiplying. Even if the presentation isn't always the best, seeing Cell bust out the multi-form technique, special beam cannon, and Frieza's homing discs is a fun highlight reel of fights past. It's like telling the audience, hey, look how far we've come while still being the zany crazy move fest we've always been. If only they did more with it. With all the techniques at Cell's disposal, he had so much potential for a crazy move exhibition and we only get a handful. Do you think Cell can stretch his limbs or become giant like Piccolo? I always wondered if Cell would become a giant bug ape thing in a full moon. Oh god, what if he did both at the same time? Ew. After the stroll down memory lane and a narrowly avoided Kamehameha, the art and animation pick up spectacularly. I love this whole fight to death, but if I'm being honest, this is the part I'm usually thinking about. The choreography, shot composition, and frenetic sweeping angles make every move feel like this blindingly fast conflict. I don't think DBZ ever really quite sells the absurd speed these fighters regularly employ this well again. Yeah, this part, yeah, this, this looks amazing, okay? If the whole fight looked this good, we'd be having a very different conversation. We get some more dizzying speed punches before Cell realizes how disappointing it would be if Goku were to fall out of the ring. In one fickle sweep, he undoes the only real rule of the Cell games and destroys the arena. I'm not sure if he used Tenshinhar or Piccolo Cells on that maneuver. Fortunately, Goku doesn't seem to mind, and the fight continues, now with a much larger landscape to zip around and destroy. Again, all while looking gorgeous. After some more insanely fast martial arts, Goku is pushed into a corner and starts charging one of his biggest Kamehamehas yet. And oh no, he's aiming right at the earth. Luckily, there's a little yard rat trick Cell wasn't expecting, the instant transmission technique. Goku blinks into existence right in front of him and unleashes the iconic blast right in the smug bug's face. We've seen Cell take some serious damage before, but this is the first time he, uh, <clears throat> loses his head over it. Even though it's pretty clear that Cell will regenerate and be back in seconds, this hit is brutal. Once the dust settles and Cell's back on his feet, the two get back to the fight, albeit somewhat briefly. That big blast took a lot out of Goku, and it's clear by this point he's struggling just to keep up. In a desperate attempt to put Cell down, Goku unleashes a huge flurry of blasts, but Cell's barrier keeps them from doing any real harm. With all his energy spent, Goku admits defeat and forfeits the match, much to Cell and everyone else's dismay. I mean, it's not like it never happens, but it's nice to see the character often treated like a free win button fight a big bad in the last hour and lose. 
Even if the fight fizzles out in the end, this is a pretty unique result. I might be in the minority here, but when I saw this for the first time, I was completely caught off guard. Goku stepping down to give Gohan a shot in the limelight was a powerful moment for me, and worked as a perfect capper for a fight that basically served as a highlight reel of Goku's life. I fully admit that at times this isn't the prettiest fight, and Gohan's transformation is a lot more emotionally resonant. But as a whole, Goku vs. Cell just has so much to offer, and I really think people just overlook it due to its proximity to a lot of people's favorite moment. I'm still not entirely sold, but you make a fair argument. This is a list of our personal favorite fights, and if it had that much of an impact on you and is this good to begin with, it definitely merits a spot on the countdown. Aw, you see, Kaiser? Isn't it nice to get along? Nice try, Nick, but Goku vs. Hit Round 2 ain't making the list. Aw, come on!